compression pressure. From the start screen, you navigate via info to the main group process and to the page injection profile. The blue curve illustrates the pressure profile during the injection sequence. Pressure deviations are mostly caused by differences in the melt flowability. Fluctuations above the defined tolerances can lead to defective parts. For the configuration of tolerance limits, you navigate to Monitoring at the top of the screen and click Off. In the selection menu, you choose Tolerance Curve Pressure with a double click. The input boxes for the tolerance limits now appear on the right. A common value for the tolerances is between 50 to 100 bar. We choose 70 bar and enter this value in both boxes. The machine saves these values right after input. And the tolerance curves appear in the graphic display. Now start the injection cycle at the operating panel. Before you continue with further settings, the machine needs to be in thermal balance. Now you see the pressure curve and the defined tolerances. If necessary, you can adjust the selected values once more. After achieving a stable production process, you can continue with further configurations. For this purpose, you switch to Injection Options on the lower screen. Now you define the reaction and the alarm signal of the machine when the set tolerances are overrun. Firstly, you click on the symbol Alarm Reaction and another page appears. In the alarm group Tolerance Curve Injection Pressure, you can see the default setting on the right. If you would like to stop the injection in case of a machine alarm, you have the possibility to define the actual cycle with or without holding pressure. We choose without holding pressure. Depending on the setting, the cycle will be interrupted at the actual process step or at the cycle end. We choose cycle end. We switch back to injection options and see the actual configuration. We navigate to the injection profile and observe the injection pressure tolerance curve. In the graph, we can see that the injection pressure decreased and the lower tolerance is exceeded. You will get an alarm message and the machine responds according to the chosen option and stops at cycle end. For a machine restart, you have to define the numbers of startup cycles at first. Switch to Injection Options and click the input box. A window appears. Here you enter a sufficiently high value that allows the machine to achieve thermal balance. Now start the injection cycle at the operating panel. On the graph of the injection profile, you can see that the lower tolerance curve is not displayed, and with this, it is not active. After the defined number of startup cycles is reached, the lower tolerance curve appears again. During production process, the change of injection pressure inside the tolerance limits can be tremendous. If required, you can save the new pressure course manually. For this, you have to click the corresponding symbol. The machine calculates new tolerance curves, which are displayed in the injection profile. The functions of the tolerance curve for injection pressure enables you to observe the injection process course easily and fast. Fluctuations 
caused by the flowability of plastic materials are detected at an early stage and defective parts can be avoided. <laughs> <laughs>